Hello you boys and girls, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Hotsis T and we are in episode 3 on Volcania, uh, a rather warm planet. Also at the moment we have uh, a temperature um, that's quite comfortable. Uh, we have one duplicate that's uh, constantly uh, getting scolded because he just finished analyzing this uh, cool steam vent. Uh, so we can see what's what's going on. It has quite a long active period and a shorter dormant period, which is good. Uh, so we get quite a bit of. Uh, water out of it what else happened since last time i've been tinkering with this system here uh, to get water through um, in a way that's uh, that's cool enough but without freezing in the pipes and now we have basically uh, almost 50 degree warm water coming here it cools down all the way to down here. There we have 20 and then uh, around 15. Uh, that's, that's a nice temperature that we can use. And we are pumping that into our hydrophonic forms, um, which just lessens the work our duplicates have to do to uh, uh, supply all the blossom seeds with water. We also have a proper bathroom set up here with uh, water recycling here on, on this side and this also helps with morale uh, for the duplicates. We still not have not found the fifth duplicant. Uh, I am looking for one that's good with supplying and uh, operating. Um, but then here on this side, we have finally started to uh, uh, build up uh, our power setup, uh, starting with uh, with coal generators, and uh, we can continue that on because up here. We have a natural gas geyser that we can tap into and produce power that way as well. Research wise, we're all done, save for the uh, rocket science, which uh, actually requires um, that we launch a rocket. So let's have a look here. does not convince me and in today's episode we will build a draco farm we have some dracos here in our base and if we look at dracos uh, they come in the, in the normal variant and the glossy variant. Uh, they eat either uh, pinch of pepper, pepper nuts, uh, balm lilies, uh, or mealwood. And for balm lilies, we need a chlorine atmosphere, so that's not good. Um, and for the pinch of pepper nut, there we don't have uh, uh, a gas requirement, um, but they need polluted water. So I think we will stick with mealwood and we will do it in a way that we naturally plant uh, those. So that means 
we need three tiles, then three tiles, then three tiles. And that's where we want to plant our meal for on. So let's block these for now. Um, then we will have a door here, a door here. Let's just dig out everything else. And we will have by the looks of it, if you can tell, this is uh, basically the forms that we are building here. And we have uh, another blade there, which does not have any plants on it. Um, and of course here on this side we will have a wall going up. And we need stations in here. Grooming. Cheering. Oh, that's that's a three one. So what else we can do then here is creature uh, drop off here. This room one smaller. Yes, it is. That's why it's not working out as I ended it. So we'll just do this here. This is another spot where we can plant a new wood. And then we need here on top a bit of room because if we look at the, the, the Dracos, we are interested in, of course, the, the phosphorite that they get but as we also shear them um, in their uh, in their uh, uh, wool or scales and in order for the scales to grow back they need uh, to have a bit of uh, a hydrogen atmosphere so we will do that here at the top. So that means we take all this out. Uh, we place a level here. Level 
air. Air. And then we need vents in the corner. that we will use for the seats. Now that's that's the that's the setup so uh, let's wait for the duplicants to finish up uh, building all this up and then we can see how we progress with this build. The farm building is now ready for the mealwood to be planted. And we have one spot up here and then three down here and three over there. So unfortunately we don't have any mealwood seeds to spare. Um, they are, I think most of them we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we uh, fed to the fish. And looking at the fish, we have a tropical one, normal ones, and a short time ago, I also saw a, a, a gold paku in there. So uh, over time, we managed to uh, to uh, breed all three different kinds. Although uh, for the uh, for the gold ones, it's just too warm in here. So they will not uh, sustain that well. Uh, down here you can see uh, more uh, power lines are being led in order to, to connect uh, everything up. Uh, we will need that to, to finish. And I did plant a mealwood in here and hopefully that will grow and the reason we um, have no farmhouse here is not necessarily because uh, I uh, uh, want to grow them naturally, but because we basically don't have any dirt and meal will needs dirt as, uh, as fertilization. So what we will do here is we will have a pip in here and we will only have one we don't want to have too many um, and we will open this door so that will become one room and we will deconstruct this letter yet because we only want then mealwood seeds in here and then the pit should be able to plant that there. So let's find ourselves a pit that we can uh, wrangle and move up there. And ooh, there is another meal wood that we can dig. Ooh, and there is also one can dig those out and uh, then have a go at uh, planting them. So of course uh, that means we have to, to clean out uh, the, the, the everything from there. It also means uh, we need to store all the seeds that are in there somewhere so we can also clear those out but once we got the pip in and have uh, at least a seed that can be uh, can be planted we will have another look we have one pip in we have two seeds we don't have any other seeds in here, 
So now let's actually deconstruct this ladder and that should allow the pip to plant a mealwood there. You have to be a bit patient with the pips, but finally it happened and uh, we have the first mealwood planted there. So we can continue with uh, this spot down here and apparently the order in which you uh, let the pip plant uh, these uh, plants is important. You go from top to bottom and right to left. So you uh, start in this corner and then basically work your way diagonally. And then we probably have to wait until we get more seeds from somewhere before we can finish this farm. But there is also a lot of uh, other work that still needs to be done. The pipe for the high direction is almost done. We uh, need a bridge there. Uh, but we also need quite a bit more electro wiring. Uh, we want to upgrade all this to a uh, conductive wire. And then we also need to bring that up here uh, to the shearing station before we actually uh, then can uh, put in the directors. But in here we already have uh, the second meal wood planted. Uh, so now let's just wait until um, we get the five remaining seeds that we need to, uh, to plant the rest. Our first room is fully planted and that uh, the first two millwood already carry the lice. So now we can actually set up this part for the Dracos and Draclets and wrangle us some. There we have one. one hard to get to and we have to be uh, careful uh, with the uh, hydrogen because uh, this mealwood does not grow uh, in hydrogen atmosphere so we probably can get a tiny bit more in here before we have to close off this vent. Here on this side we can have a bit more and we want to have as much as possible because uh, that allows the scales of the, the Dracos to grow. And once we have the second form done we will set this one up as well. But as we uh, uh, are still waiting for copper to be produced to finish the, the wiring that will take a while and here on this side i created a big uh, container where we will store our natural gas from up here and down here we have a bit of uh, a power production going uh, not yet finished because we also need to have a tank for the polluted water and over here we have a second kitchen with the gas range in it so we can have different kind of food prepared but this one will take a while until the second form is finished as well. The electrical wiring is now all in so we can start shearing the Dracos and here we can see what I want to avoid. Uh, this male wood has stopped growth because 
it's in the uh, hydrogen atmosphere. And here on this side, um, we almost done, but unfortunately the pip died. But we have an egg left here, so I think uh, I will let that hatch and uh, plant the last seed here. Uh, and then we can fill in records here as well. And here over on this side, we have this set up uh, going. Um, we want to have, uh, when we have enough uh, pressure in here, we want to pump things out. And what we are still waiting on here is we need some some vents, um, some high pressure vents here, here, and here. And probably we will disable this for now uh, because uh, I intend to uh, have another uh, power set up down here before we have the polluted water collection down there at the bottom. And once we have all that finished, uh, we really have a powerful uh, power setup. But I think with the power all connected here, yep, we can actually make this connection and then we don't need this anymore. We can lower this to that and we probably also can hook up our gear with the connected wire and then remove that. And that should then uh, produce power from coal, uh, which we will have here on this side, as we have uh, a liquid lock separating the two sides. Uh, the pressure for carbon dioxide will arise on this side, but not on that side. And I would imagine that we don't need huge amount of, uh, of power as of as of now um, but we have more stable power set up going um, and uh, basically we can disable this one which means duplicants will not hop on here and uh, uh, run uh, because we control the power uh, production here through these smart batteries. I also managed to uh, to get another duplicate, uh, Ashken here, which is good at supplying and operating, just what I what I wanted. Uh, but I came to the realization that now we are producing enough uh, uh, food sustainably. Uh, so we would not even have to be uh, that picky. So I think uh, the next one would probably uh, be someone with, with doctoring skills. And until that comes along, we will just get by with uh, what else we get out of the, of the printing pot. I think that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, tune in next time when you will have to find out for which animal we will build a farm. Until then, goodbye!